This is the LibreSense biosensor, the first Libre sensor for continuous monitoring of blood glucose without scanning. You simply place the sensor on your upper arm and you can see your real-time glucose data minute by minute in the Super Sapiens app on your phone. So if you want to master your blood glucose management and improve your athletic performance, keep watching. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom and I've been using Libre sensors for over three years. This Super Sapiens Libre Sense biosensor is brand new. I just received it two weeks ago and today I will do a quick unboxing and I'll show you how I apply the sensor and how it all works. If you wonder why it is critical to understand the glucose level, then you should definitely watch my previous video that I made and I will link it here and in the description below. By the way, this is not a sponsored video and it's not medical advice. I'm not a medical professional and all I say here is just my personal opinion. I'm just a guy interested in blood sugar management technology. The Super Sapiens app working together with the Abbas biosensor is a full-blown continuous glucose monitoring system. It works in a glucose range between 55 and 200 milligrams per deciliter and it's designed for athletes to improve their performance. So for the purposes of this video I need to turn from a diabetic to an athlete. I have to go do a workout. But by the way, do you know what national jersey this is? Let me know in the comments. The app lets you see how exactly your glucose levels are changing minute by minute, depending on what you eat and what kind of physical activity you do. You can track all your meals, you can enter the information about what exactly you eat, and then you can compare how your blood sugar reacts to different meals that you eat. You can also track other events like exercise, stress, sleep, and pretty much everything you want. You can enter everything in the app. And this is so helpful because once you start entering the data, the app will analyze the data for you and shows you a really friendly overview of how your body reacts to all kinds of foods and other situations. All right, back from the workout and also back from the athlete to a diabetic. So let me show you what I found in the Libre package and how you put on the sensor. In the box you will find the product insert, sensor pack and the sensor applicator. There is also a fancy looking user manual and a few Super Sapiens stickers. And because I pre-ordered I also got this good looking cap. But this is not a sponsored video so I'm not gonna wear it. Before you apply the sensor, you should definitely download the Super Sapiens app from the App Store and set it up, because it's super user friendly and it takes you through the application step by step. The best way to apply it is to find a flat spot on your upper arm, wash it with warm water and soap and let it dry. You might want to clean the site with an alcohol wipe, because this really helps the sensor adhesive to stick better. But for some reason there are no alcohol wipes in the package, so you might need to get some from a pharmacy. For me, the inner back side of my arm right here works the best, because if you use the outer side, like you can see in this Super Sapiens promo video, you will knock your sensor off by the nearest door frames. I can guarantee that. Wanna bet? So peel the lid of the sensor pack and unscrew the cap from the sensor applicator. Place the sensor applicator into the sensor pack, line up the dark mark on the applicator with the dark mark on the pack and press firmly until it comes to a complete stop and clicks. Then you lift the sensor applicator out of the sensor pack and it's ready for application. And here is the little needle that goes in when you apply the sensor. But don't worry, it doesn't stay there and it comes straight out in a couple seconds. Next, place the applicator over the side and push down firmly until the sensor is in place. Lift it up and done. It doesn't hurt, it's really easy. You can't mess it up. To activate the sensor, press scan the sensor button in the app and hold the top of your phone above the sensor to scan. You will hear a beep or feel a little vibration once the sensor is activated. And after 60 minutes of warm up time, your app starts showing blood glucose readings and updates every single minute. I have to say that the black and white design of the Super Sapiens app looks really modern and futuristic and all the colorful animations and statistics, they make it a really lot of fun to play with. It also offers you daily insights and summarizes the data over 7, 14, 30 and 90 days for you to analyze. I especially like the learn section of the app 
that gives you a lot of helpful information on what is blood glucose, how blood glucose work and why blood glucose management is actually important for improving your athletic performance. The Super Sapiens app provides completely different experience from the LibreLink app. It is so much better and much more fun to play with in so many ways. And the best thing is that you don't have to scan anymore and you don't have to wear this ugly plastic add-on. Now the main difference between these two setups is that Freestyle Libre is designed for diabetics, whereas the Libre Sense is designed for athletes. The Super Sapiens app is not approved by healthcare authorities for diabetes management and diabetes treatment. All right, you know I am diabetic and I really wanted to look at the Libre Sense and the Super Sapiens app from a diabetic perspective, hoping that some of these great things we see in the app, we might see in the Libre 3 app because the Libre 3 is coming out in the next year and Freestyle Libre 3 will be a new product that of course is designed for diabetics. And I must say I would really want to see an app similar to this one coming with Libre 3. So Abbott, come on, I rely on you. Let's try to do it nice. The things I did not like about the Super Sapiens app is the blood sugar range in which it works. So it only works from 55 milligrams to 200 milligrams. Meaning if your blood sugar is above the 200 milligram level, the sensor will not be able to read it. Another disadvantage is that you cannot set up alarms that would warn you anytime the blood glucose goes outside of the ideal range. So for diabetics, alarms would be really important and alarms will of course be part of the Libre 3 setup. By the way, if you want to learn more about Freestyle Libre 3, click on the video on the screen right now. And guys, I will be testing the Libre Sense for another four weeks and then I will release another video with my full review of this product. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications so you don't miss this follow-up video. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!